<laughs> I'm sorry. Please let me through. Hey, let's go. Guys, I've only just noticed that my mic's been turned off. I don't even know what I've got to do about that. This is going to be the first episode that I've done without You're any kind of really intro. Famous. Wow. <laughs> I can't believe that. Anyway, welcome back, guys. This is Mr. Free. I can't believe I've just done that. That's really funny. <laughs> oh, no, I can't re-record this now, no, because I didn't even go to a save point. Yuna. We won't huh? get separated. You never heard a whistle before. <laughs> in Xanarkin, we do this to cheer on Blitz players. I'm just thinking about how long it was. Um, you try it too. Put your. How, how old have been? You just opened the episode, like and I wanted to have an intro. Uh -uh. Not like that. This. Look, he's, he's making that noise. He's not even got his. Then hands in his mouth. Just blow. Right, it is not that easy. That's what, <laughs> that's what it's like when I tried doing it as a kid. Practice. Okay. Uh, hey, use that if we get separated. Then I'll come running, okay? <laughs> well, guess we should just stick together then. Until you can do it. Sounds like a plan. Yes, sir. Alright, I really can't believe that I have started this episode off without an intro. It's quite sloppy, just because my mic was uh, turned off. <sighs> Never mind, eh? It's not the end of the world. It'd be funny though, because I've always started my episodes the same way. Wow! This is a pretty big town. Luca is the second largest city in Spira. I should be glad I know it straight away I to be honest with you. Was little, you know, like Besaid and Kilika. Towns don't usually get bigger than that. Because when a lot of people start to gather. Sin? Hmm. What about Luca? It's safe here? It's not any different, but the stadium is here. The Crusaders fight to protect it with all their strength. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 100 Crusaders couldn't even take down the Lord Ocho. What are they going to do against Sen? Blitzball is really the only entertainment that we have. Spear is a little short on fun these days. Whoa. Talk about pressure. <laughs> That's right. Is Xanarkand like this too? Hmm. <laughs> Why do you well, keep spinning there are more like buildings, that? Then? All tall ones. I know he's looking around, together. but. Oh. They must be so tall. Don't you ever get dizzy? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go find Sir Orin. Oh yeah, totally got sidetracked there. Totally forgot about that. Right now, the cafe is over here, and I don't just know that because of the red arrow. That parrot's going nuts down there. I hope you're not picking up that noise. <sighs> Doesn't look like he's there. Orin's not here. Oh, people stop moving around. Hmm. <sighs> Let's ask around. <laughs> oh, come on, he's just walked in. Aren't we forgetting something as well? The game. Why not talk, Kimari? Oh. Uh oh. Not see Yenke for ten years. Those two guys say are something. huge. 
Kimari forget Yenki? Forget Biran? Leave Kimari, Yenki. Kimari is small, Ranzo. Kimari so small can see Yenki and Biran's faces. That just doesn't even make sense. <laughs> even if he was only a centimeter tall, if he looked up, he'd be able to see your faces. Kimari forget Ronso friends? We taught you much at time of Hornmont. Biran taught Kimari to be strong, Ronso. Maybe taught too much. Oh. Take him on. Yeah, it is two on what I was going for, right? <laughs> oh, cracking up a car. Oh. Not like he would have just stood down and accepted that. Outside. The tournament's starting, you hear? Ah, the bit of a cheap shot. Today, on this glorious day, players from all over Spira have assembled here to participate in this great contest of bravery skill and strength looks like it started without us gonna have to pray that Walker can do the job by himself which let's face it that's not gonna happen all of these fine teams equally renowned deserve to win the cup today such is the nature of this contest let us, the spectators, play our role accordingly. Let us sing to the glory of the winners and applaud equally the valor of the defeated. Contestants, may heaven be with you. We got a nice little cutscene now. There are definitely a lot more of these FMVs uh, in this game than in Final Fantasy X. So. Uh, I want to see what these look like in HD graphics. Probably might not look that different to be honest with you, but... I don't know, I've seen some pictures from both the Kingdom Hearts and the Final Fantasy X. I've seen some screenshots of them in HD and they do look really clear. Like, not the actual FMV cutscenes, just actual, like, gameplay footage. Just pictures. Shows you a little, little like preview of what the screens can look like. Well, it just shows you that. That's in the Blitzball game. I think that's really it. Shows the timer a bit later on. Looks like the Albert Sacks were going to get that ball then, didn't it? Oh yeah, this Come is still on. going on. Yuna's gone. Whoa! What do you mean? And another punch. But he's angry when he's running. Protecting Yuna's his most important job and he knows that. Wait, but where's she gone? At least Tius has been on the ball. Where in Spira have you been? Huh? Yuna's been kidnapped by the Al Bed Sykes. But how? In exchange for her safe return, they want the Aurochs to lose. What? If they're only Blitzball players, I doubt they'd do anything drastic. But we shouldn't take chances. Let's go get her. I'm going too. Of course. This will be no problem. They're telling the Aurochs to throw the game, as if they needed What's to. What's Kamari pointing at? I mean, how good a team can they be? Waka said the same thing. He'll take care of the game. We should go get Yuna. The Albed boat is in dock four. Let's go. All right, let's do it. Let's get her back. And now we've only got these three as a party members. But well, that's decent because we've got two physical attackers and a black mage. Oh, 
hold on, what's this music from? This is actually the Blitzball music that you hear, yeah. When you're actually playing Blitzball in your own time and you're in the menu, this is the theme of that. I've heard it all too much. And there's a walker again, I'm not going to speak to him because we don't need any supplies. Let's just keep going up to dock 4, was it? I think it was. Was it dock 3? Can't remember. I'll just keep following the arrow. Looks like it was dock 3. Or maybe not. You have to get through these guys first. Whoa, what are they? Ancient Machina salvaged by the Albed. They are mostly vulnerable to lightning. Thanks for the heads up there. Yeah, they've got quite a high defense. I'll show you when I attack with them now. Right, use Kamari. Got quite a high defense, so physically attacking isn't going to do much. Yeah, and they do this all uh, like they move around around the enemies. Oh, why did I do that? Because I was talking. They move around the enemies in this battle, and I don't know why. I think it's just a bit. I don't know whether they were exper experimenting with the uh, battle system still. I don't know, or whether they just put it in. But you'll see in these battles, like they'll corner an enemy once they've defeated him. I don't. It's a bit strange. It's not strange, but it, it's not something you encounter in this game. It's just this once. I'm pretty sure. And we got more. All right, no. Also, actually, no. No, I'm not going to say that. It's all right. Doesn't matter. Let's just get Lulu hasted. One down. Yeah, see like how they just move there. You won't see that for the rest of the game. I think maybe they just tried it to think, oh, put a little bit more of... I, I don't know, a bit more realism to it, like you're cornering your enemy, but there's no sh there's no advantage to doing it. Uh, I think they didn't put it in because actually like it takes a couple of seconds for like the actual moving cutscene to initiate, and it, it, doing that every battle can be a bit, oh my god, you know what, that kind of thing. I don't know. Right, same thing, just cast haste on Lulu. Attack me as well. He's gonna hit us back. Oh, and another attack straight away. The beauty of haste. Right. What's up with these guys? I really can't do anything here. No, uh, except spam the thunder. I might just haste myself. Why not? Is that it? Nope. The old dead were expecting us. It looks like a. Oh, they're not doing a very good job of stopping us, though. That's the end. This is the last one because he cornered it. Ah, go on, Lulu, for the win. It's not going to happen. No. It was worth a shot. Even if you pulled off a critical, it wouldn't have done it. Doesn't matter. I'll take that experience. Hmm. A null tide. Well, I know what that is going to be. That's going to be Water Ward for both Lulu and Unit, but. Don't need that just yet. Well, don't think I'm gonna I'm not gonna need it at all. How's this game cracking on? The 
Aurochs are keeping the score tied with some excellent defense, folks. Looks to all. Two minutes left. Oh, Ooh. he'll feel that one in the morning. Oh, that was a... Ah, but the referee... There was no need for that second tackle. Wack is taking a real beating out there. How was that not a foul? That second guy just came in and basically just like hit him for no reason. Huh. I call rigged. Still in there. He won't last. Waka's always like that. <laughs> nice faith. Ouch. Let's go. Right, we're almost cracking up on 20 minutes now. Saying that, and I've just started this cutscene. Yeah, I've started there, so. Yep, it's gonna be a little bit Let's longer go. than I thought wanted it to be, but you know what, it doesn't matter. I need to make up for not putting an intro in. Just still can't believe I've not done. Really skeptical about wanting to upload this just because I didn't introduce the episode. Or oh, myself, should I say? You guessed it, we got a boss. This guy is not tough. Now, well, he is if you don't do a certain thing. But I'll get to that in a minute. Oh yeah. Right, so you can use a crane. I'm not gonna, because it's... Actually, you know what I will. Let's, let's use a crane. Come on, move! It's probably out of power. Alright, okay. So now that you know that, let's just attack this thing. It's weak to... Ooh, critical head, nice. Now, what you want to do is cast thunder on the crane. Or on the electric motor, as it's called. Seems to respond, but not enough power. Right, okay, so let's get Tidus involved. Oh, no way, I didn't realise that I've uh, used up all my haste. Oh, it doesn't matter. I suppose I'll just have to mash away at him. Blitzball rush, this isn't that devastating. Um, just attack again. Another critical Kamari, nice. Oh, blind ball, right. That looks like his counter-attack inflicts darkness. Right, he's clearly just not going to let me want to slug it out with him. Come on. No, still not enough power. Don't know why I keep going to that. Take that. He's going to use blind ball. Yeah, right, okay. That probably wasn't the smartest thing to do. What I will do is cast a remedy on myself to get rid of the darkness and save Kimari. So let's cast thunder on this and hopefully this is going to work now. Yeah, there we go. Right, now just wait for Kimari. Yeah, we'll just defend. And now we'll use a crane. Now watch the damage that this does. This is one of those uh, rare boss battles, or just battles where you get trigger commands. Yank, oosh. Let's check damage. 4,600. See now, uh, when I, oh 300, yeah, it always leaves him with a tiny little bit of health. Yeah, when it, whenever you do that, you basically just cast thunder on him or just attack him and he's going to die. That just makes that battle so much quicker. And he's down. Right, this episode, actually, no, you know what, it's not even at 20 minutes. 
Probably just creeping up at 20 minutes now. And there she is. Got a safe and sound. And now we get the, uh, the Final Fantasy fanfare. The Thunder Moomba. I don't, didn't get that the last time I thought that. Uh, elixir. That's nice. I hope you hurt them. A little. What is it? There were these all bed that saved my life when I first came to Spira. Oh yeah. They took me on their ship. They even gave me food. I was kind of hoping that this was the same ship. But Does look not. the same, but the deck where you're standing on I is different. They're all gone. Well, only because of certain stuff not there, but Sin came up near us. I made it out okay, but I don't know what happened to their ship. Um, was there anyone called Sid on that ship? Not that I can remember, but we didn't get even a word in really. No. They were all speaking that Al Bed language. The only person that could understand us was Rico. I see. So who Sid? He's my uncle, but I've never actually met him. Mm hmm. Wait. So that means you're Al Bed too, Yuna? Oh yeah. On my mother's side. Oh, it does. Yes. Oh, does Walker know about brother. it? He became distant after my mother married. But she told me to seek him out if I ever needed help. You're worried he was... Don't tell Waka about Yuna's lineage. Yeah, I assumed the thing he didn't about know. Waka, he never had much love for the Albed. Whoa! Oh God, yeah, the game! I gotta tell Waka! <laughs> I thought I told you not to tell Waka. The game! Yeah, that literally just oh. as I was thinking then. But that was funny, I was just like, oh, I'm gonna tell Walker. I don't know what she does there. I don't get this. I'd like, if someone would comment and just explain what that's about there, I, I, I'm not sure. I've got no idea. It's like a distress thing for someone to come and collect them, I, I don't know. That seems like what it was. Oh yeah, 30 seconds the left, come on. I'd love to know who that came from because all the characters did move up, but never mind. Shows your staff walker, 10 seconds, oh, and that was a nice dodge. And we win. We're in the finals. Unbelievable! The Aurochs win the match three to two. Won the first match in 23 years. Uh, without the need of us. It's not bad. Well, you did just win we a game, won. but we did it. We're in the finals. Not the most. Oh come on, Lulu. Need if to it line was Chapu, up. he'd still be standing. I thought he is in Chapu. Hey, aren't you being just a little unfair? Excuse me? I know I could never take Chapu's place. You're the one who told Waka that, right, Lulu? And I don't think Waka would ever try to take Chapu's... You don't want to finish that sentence. Yeah, Lulu's one one of those characters that you're not really that fond of the first time you come around to playing the game, but she does grow on you. Right, I'm going to end the episode here because we're coming up on nearly 25 minutes. This is Mr. Free, hope you've all enjoyed watching. See you next time.